Hey YouTube, it's Marciano, your vet tech. Um, gonna go over a quick discussion on uh, the differences between a non-anesthetic dental cleaning and an anesthetic dental cleaning. So you, some people may, you know, get confused by this when they, you know, say, oh, well, the veterinarian will give them a, a recommendation as far as, oh, your pet's teeth need to get cleaned. It's like, oh, they already get cleaned, you know, by this guy at, um, you know, PetSmart once a once a month, and it's like, you know a hundred and something dollars and the teeth come out looking great it's like be that as it may they they look clean but underneath the surface is what you're not seeing is under the gum line is causing damage um, uh, what you're not seeing is the damage that's being done underneath the gum line so uh, doing a non-anesthetic dental really is uh, considered malpractice in veterinary medicine you want to do an anesthetic cleaning because then you can go underneath the gum line the pets completely anesthetized so they're not in uh, any pain during this procedure and you're not only going to extend the the longevity of your pet because they're not dealing with the bacteria constantly circulating through their bloodstream um, when it's in contact with the gum line um, they're not going to lose teeth they're not going to have uh, you know what's called dental abscesses which can happen when there's bacteria that infiltrates the gum line gets in between the tooth and the actual um, uh, bone where the tooth rests and creates a pocket of bacteria and then thus creating an infection and a lot of pain is involved with that so uh, you want to avoid uh, non-anesthetic dentals it's very important that they have a proper dental cleaning done and just talk to your veterinarian about this and they'll give you recommendations for your pet um, typically people are worried about anesthesia and it's not a problem in most pets um, as far as anesthesia goes it's actually pretty safe um, and some owners might be worried about oh my pets too young or my pets too old um, age isn't a disease so it really doesn't matter as long as your pet is healthy otherwise and your veterinarian will give you recommendations as far as that goes when they check yearly blood work on the patient they're going to know if there's a problem, whether it needs to be addressed, whether that pet is safe to go under anesthesia. A lot of people worry about anesthesia for, um, you know, not very many valid reasons because they're just, you know, just kind of scared of it. Um, as long as they are trained in anesthesia, um, there's not going to be a problem. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below um, and I'll get back to you. Uh, subscribe to the channel while you're here and hit the notification bell. I'll try to get more content out weekly and uh, we'll continue this going. Um, but thanks you guys. Later. Uh, another thing with dental cleanings, um, they're also going to get full mouth x-rays typically and you can see if there's a problem ahead of time rather than wait for it to become a problem later. So um, good dental hygiene is important in dogs and cats. So make sure you talk to your vet about what recommendations they may have um, for your pet getting a dental cleaning. Um, and usually uh, in veterinary medicine, uh, February is dental month. So your vet usually, if you're around the veterinarian around that time, they'll talk to you about this. Or um, you can, whenever you go in for an exam for your pet, they'll go ahead and give you a recommendation about that also. Um, other than that, uh, later, you guys.